What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we got a brand new mail day and definitely a unique one. We have a new repack and some new pickups, of course, always picking up some new stuff from my collection. And then we got a very unique package and I want to share a story with you guys as well as some tips and some, I guess, uh, information on the situation, what happened and kind of how uh, it's applicable to you guys and how you can help yourself. Hopefully, if you guys aren't familiar with these situations, and some of you definitely will be, um, then it could be helpful for you guys in the future. But yeah, mail days are always tons of fun. Kind of just get to talk about cards, talk about, you know, share my thoughts, stuff like that. Uh, last mail day was flawless and eminence my biggest mail day yet Ten thousand new pickups got that lebron game worn dual flawless patch got that Giannis patch auto really awesome stuff and believe it or not those weren't even close to the biggest cards from that mail day uh, there was an absolute monster so if you haven't checked out that mail day def definitely check it out but um regarding those cards a lot of you guys have hit me up trying to you know buy um or trade stuff like that as far as buying goes i listen to offers usually i don't I don't sell too many. I, I do sell a little more now than I uh, was for the past few months, but I've been trying to pick up the selling. Um, if you have offers, feel free to hit me up and I'll always listen to offers. Um, if I do sell anything, it'll be in my Instagram story. So Pac-Man cards right there. Definitely drop a follow. I'll post them on my story whenever they're available with a price. If not, you can always feel free to make an offer. Uh, my preference would be to, you know, if I was going to move any of my cards in my collection, it would be a trade up or, a, you know, combine some cards and trade for a, another card. So if you have any big cards you want to trade, feel free to hit me up once again. Um, and we can see if we can get a deal done. But um, yeah. Anyway, always fun stuff to add stuff to your collection, and we'll get into these uh, as well as the repack. Probably start with these ones, usually go kind of right to left, but we'll start with this one here. Once again, I love doing the mail days. If you guys like these videos, definitely drop a like, drop a sub, share, comment, always helps us out. Description, we have our Twitch and our Discord, where we have our sports card community, but let's check out these uh, new pickups here. And um, if you guys haven't seen the last video, I want to thank you guys again for 90,000 subs. We just hit that mark a day or two ago, so huge thank you. It's, I mean, it's crazy. I, I can't believe how, how much it's grown and it's all thanks to you guys. So really, truly, thank you guys so much. And uh, that being said, let's get into this first card of our mail day here. All right. So first one up, 171. And with all these cards, as usual, I don't know who wants to be um, mentioned or not mentioned. So I'll just say thank you guys, everyone who I made a deal with, sent stuff in. Appreciate you guys. Once again, I don't know who does want uh, their name to be shared or not. So um, yeah, once again, thanks to you guys. Got that Grizzlies logo, Memphis Grizzlies. You'll see the name. Desmond Bain, my guy. Our rookie this year for the Grizzlies. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. I haven't looked at this card too closely with mail days. I'll you know quickly unpackage it. I don't want to... I used to stack them up in the bubble mailers, but that is, A, not too sanitary, and uh, it also takes a lot more time. You guys watch me just unpackage them. So I quickly open them. You know, maybe I see them for like a second. I put them in these stacks. and So this is kind of like the first time I really get a good look at it. I love Desmond Bain. Dude's an absolute sniper. I love my Grizz guys. So I'm really happy to have this card. Looks so nice. These mirror parallels from Certified. I'm, I'm liking it. Ooh, <laughs> Desmond Bain. That's a sweet card, man. You got any uh, big Desmond Bains uh, in his Grizz jerseys? Uh, this year, obviously, a lot most products haven't come out yet. But especially from, say, like Prism, Optic, stuff like that. Hit me up. I'm a Bane buyer in that case. All right. Next one up. We got, oh, yes, 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 yes. Keeping the, the PC hype going. Grizzlies again, and this card is something else. I mean, oh man, I'm, I'm going to pass out. All, all this for me, like he is, is going to be the death of me. I, oh, <laughs> Rudy Gay, let's go. Seven to 10. I always love that, that number seven. Seven's always one I like to uh, have. 22 is my favorite number, but you know, not too far down there. Seven's always one that I kind of gravitate towards if I have to choose something. But uh, transition just from, from flawless 15-16, uh, of course, Rudy Gay, my favorite player ever. Now Jaron, Ja could make a run of that. But as of now, it is still Rudy. And uh, watching Rudy is kind of how I started to fall in love with, with uh, basketball and became a Grizzlies fan. So that team there, this era, nothing nothing quite like it for me. Rudy Gay is my guy. He was, he was the Grizz. I, I remember him getting traded like it was yesterday and the hole left in my heart and the pain. <sighs> bad day. That day was a bad day. But this card is, is just awesome. Captures that you know, the career we had with us and um, it's just so cool. I didn't know this card existed actually. Someone hit me up with it and I had to buy it. it. It's just, you know, really wasn't a choice for me. What's funny is this foil actually I thought it would be a... It looks like if I saw it like this, I'd think it's a one of one. Usually this is one of one foil, but interesting still awesome card super happy to have this one now for my collection next one up saw this one on um on ebay and 
it just looked really cool. So I, I bid and I won. I think, yeah, yeah, okay. So it is this one. And uh, number one, Defying Gravity. Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot these. Okay, there you go. Zion Williamson. They don't print much on the back of these cards because they're see-through. So you'd see uh, all this text and stuff. But Zion Williamson. Now, the card, condition-wise, is just okay. Um, I haven't really taken too much of a look at it. But one thing I just noticed right here is there's like... I think I saw this on the pictures, too. Um, but as far as other, you know, any issues, I haven't checked. But I do notice this is kind of like a... I don't even know what that's called. Like a print error there. And a little bit right there, too. But... Still a cool card. This picture is awesome. 17 of 25. Zion is, he's incredible. He really is incredible. I can't, I, I love watching him play. I watch a bunch of Pelicans games now. Just always, well not now, I've always been watching him because since Zion's been there. Uh, he's just awesome to watch. It's, it's just true pleasure. And this picture is, it's just really cool. So happy to have this one, Mr. Zion Williamson. And this picture was used in one and one and the tribute set for hoops. I think that's it. There might be one more that I'm forgetting, but uh, they don't use it too much. And it's definitely one of my uh, more favorites and the more popular ones of him. But really cool to have this one. Next one up. 10 BGS Auto. And it's Rookie. 113. Who could it be? Another Grizzly. Jaron Jackson Jr. 20 to 25. 9. Now, that's not really that surprising because Encased has all like 55 and greater point stock, uh, card stock. So more surface area to get dinged and um, yeah, more prone to damage. So these do get dinged up a little bit. I never understood why Encased was all thicker cards if it's a product around cards that are Encased or graded. Because you know they're not going to grade as well as thinner cards. But I, I don't know. Maybe I, I'm missing something. But still, really awesome. I miss Jaron. He's he has, he's still out. He's still out. I don't know what's going on. Hoping everything's okay. I'm not sure what's going on, but yeah, I'm hoping he gets healthy. I want to see him play soon for a Grizz, but uh, still out for now. Wishing him the best and a very, very speedy and full recovery. Final pickup here. I think total we're looking about a uh, roughly yeah roughly thousand dollars probably in um in new pickups I think, but uh, BGS. Yeah, I can't get this. There we go. Prism. Lakers, if you guys have seen the other mail days, you already know who this is. It's Brandon Ingram. 13 to 49, almost jersey number. So, so close. And it's the blue optic. Min gem. And, uh, yeah, I think I just saw this card too at auction and I tried to win it and I won it. So, very cool card. The blue looks nice. And, um, I think I now have the aqua, the white sparkle, the hollow, the base, and this blue one. So, Getting that little rainbow going. Although, I'd still need the, the hardest ones to get. So, I'm not actually going to get the rainbow. But still cool. I like having that card for the BI collection. And sweet stuff. So, now let's get into the repack. One this time. And uh, right here. Plus some breaks. Now, I have a little sheet that they uh, included. So, if you see me kind of just like looking at this and, and reading. I am reading off a little sheet because it's a lot of information. But uh, the value chase repack is what it's called. And they say it's the best odds in the business. Hmm. So, I guess we'll see that and uh thirty dollars two fifty shipping pretty sweet uh bus and breaks which will be linked down below is their ig where they have where they have uh you know details and pictures of the chase cards that you can find in the product itself and then there are 75 packs each one is numbered eight cards of rookies and the best you choose the number you want and um there's a bunch of chase cards they say there's not one monster one but there's a bunch of really good ones so, and i'll name a few of those um but uh you know around fifty dollars or more for some of them some they said are well over two hundred and there's a you know a bunch worth 100 ish 18 chasers one in four roughly odds of hitting one of those chase cards and um yeah everything else where you're not getting one they say 30 dollars worth of cards guaranteed so or more so i guess you guys be the judge let me know what we're looking at and um autos all that stuff now some chase cards oh and i forgot the dark stuff exposure all that stuff you guys know um 1819 trey young prison rookie card 1718 darren fox like premier level silver prism a shea Optic, Purple Rookie, Kobe, SPX Die Cut, uh, Dame Lillard, Gold Wave, stuff like that. So a lot of cool stuff to find. And um, yeah, best of luck if you if you do get one. But let's see what we got. And obviously you got like Zion, uh, Jaw, all sorts of stuff. And once again, you can check them out with the link in the description. Well, let's uh, check out this pack. And I got to be slick about it. You got to kind of like put it on the table or else it's going to... I was able to find that setting. And then people 
and I appreciate everyone who, who's trying to help me with it. None of us could figure it out. And it's like, <laughs> I don't know why it's like this, but I don't know. There's the thing here. And let's see what we're working with. Do we have a ba ba boom or do we have a wah wah? And I can't get it open. So until we get this open, ah, there we go. I did it. That was the trick. That was all a test. There we go. All right. So I think we'll open it from here. And let's uh, see what we got. Okay. Empty bag. So you guys be the judge. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And um, yeah, you always want to see more repacks. Drop a like. We can definitely do some more. But a uh, nice hero prison there in this Harden and Braun. These are both from uh, last, no, two years ago's Optic, 1819. Hero and K Nun, the Miami. And Seku, not bad so far. Giannis, base. Got an all star aspirations. Chris Weber from Contenders Optic. Now, they don't include many cards in these boxes, so it's always nice getting an insert from these. And the final one is a Shaq Skybox rookie. I actually don't have any Shaq rookies, so I'm actually. That's pretty cool, although I don't know which which one is. Like, how does this rank on his scale of his rookies? I'm not too sure, to be honest, but. um. Shaq is one of, as you guys know, one of my favorite players ever. I love Shaq. And that's a sweet card. Hmm. Skybox rookie. Even if it's nothing too crazy. I mean, that's uh, still an awesome card. I'm really happy to have it. I don't know if it was on the list or anything like that. Yeah, I'm not sure. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Pretty, pretty sweet. I don't have the values myself, but um, you think it's a dub or not? And if so, why? Really awesome stuff. So definitely check them out. The link's in the description. Um, I like what I got. I'm, I'm a fan of Shaq and got Braun. I like these inserts because there's not many of them. And then or you don't get many of them. And then these uh these three rookies here. Sweet stuff. Overall, like it. Let me know what you guys think down below. You guys be the judge. And the link's down below in the description once again. Now we get to the, the end. And this thing right here, you're probably wondering what this is exactly. So on um, eBay... I was buying a box of mosaic and the buy, not the buyer, I'm the buyer. The seller was saying, Hey, like it took a little bit to ship. And so I asked why it was taking a little bit to ship. And then they said, Oh, they had some uh, you know, personal issue and they provided a tracking number that never, you know, like, uh, you'll see tracking. It'll say the label has been created, but until it gets accepted, it won't really mean anything, right? It has to be accepted at the post office and show that it, um, it's arrived there. Right. So, it never really arrived there and I was asking kind of what the problem was and then uh, they said they're having some personal issue please you know give some time I was like, all right I'm, I'm going to wait a little longer and then I think a few weeks passed and still nothing so I was like all right what's going on here um, and then finally my message asking for tracking again or update on tracking or why hasn't moved yet because it had been you know a few weeks now uh, in addition to the weeks I already waited and then they finally said oh here we go shipped it I was like, all right well that's that's awesome. So I waited for it to come. Finally came. And I was, I was immediately concerned because this was a box of cards and it was in a bubble mailer. Um, now it was a smaller box of cards. I guess it wouldn't be too big, but you don't want to see it in bubble mailers because the uh, the product will get damaged and you can damage the cards. Anyway, I open it up and this is in here. Not the box I ordered. So this person had just uh, sent something of equal weight to the box, I guess. And, you know, sent shipped that off. And uh, pretty much this is a very classic scam from... I used to back in the day collect shoes and the way it work is sometimes people send you like a, a rock no not a rock but something of weight in a shoe box and be like hey it's delivered I, I shipped something to this person and it's not the shoes so this is kind of that classic thing they sent me this is i don't know what's in here I'll, we'll open this in a second but it's literally just like some uh random cards probably some random junk cards and we'll actually check these out right now uh, i had actually gotten this a little while ago and i've been making sure everything was okay with ebay before i actually made this video um since then i believe it should be all be good and it's all been sorted out what now these situations are tough to deal with a lot of you guys know that uh actually i've talked to you with uh, a lot of you guys about this stuff and it's not easy to always win some of these cases uh it can be tricky especially but this seller wasn't fighting back so that was a big plus for me as well as other buyers he had also done the same thing too so um, I went to his feedback the first thing, and all of a sudden I realized since I'd bought it, his feedback had dropped significantly, 
and a bunch of guys were all just like, hey, I got nothing or he sent me some random something. And so when I presented at the eBay, it was pretty easy there. I apparently I, I was assume I already had multiple reports about it. So it was after uh, you know everything was reviewed, I was able to get um, money back. And I think for now it should be good. So these are all should be all just be junk cards. Uh, I mean, we'll find out. Imagine you put something amazing in here, but I don't anticipate anything crazy. We had never responded after that. So here's kind of just the cards they sent. I'm surprised there's actually some like, rookies in here, even, you know, if there's nothing crazy, but a bunch of random cards they sent. And uh, yeah, so pretty much trying to scam and uh, hate to see it. I know one thing I want to share with you guys, I know that a lot of you guys have dealt with situations kind of like this before now. When you send payments to someone you don't know or don't know is legit, always send with protection. So there you go, just the cards. As you can see, nothing, yeah, nothing. So when you're sending payments, say, unless if you don't know this person, you know, they're not your close friend, someone you know is trustworthy in the community, someone who has lots of, you know, uh, rep, like legit rep, always send with protection. That is most likely PayPal goods and services. Um, now I, I I use that mostly. I'll only send friends and family to people I know I can trust. Who once again have you know good reputation, and uh, if it's some random person who I don't know too well or something like that, don't send friends and family. Don't don't send Venmo unless you really know them, because they could scam you. Like they could do this, and you can't get your money back. And in my situation, it was easier because he did it to a bunch of other people, and I was like last. I was not last in line, but I was one of the uh, people who would come later in line after they'd already dealt with the situation a few times. So. They were like, yeah, we know this happened. And after a little review and a little back and forth, then uh, it was all it was all good to go. But you know, if uh, you buy into uh, to you buy into something, you buy a card, and it's not legit. When you pay goods and services, you you will have to fight a bit. Make sure you have your evidence, your proof, all all the things to back it up, save all those things, and you can then present it to uh, PayPal in the situation or eBay something like that. And in that case, you are protected. But I know a lot of people have not done that and. It's unfortunate. That's it. You can't get your money back. These things do happen as much as we hate to see it. Um, and it's just the reality of just any, anything. There's always going to be those bad apples, those situations where, you know, there's, you get scams, people are trying to rip you off, take advantage of, of other people. And uh, always make sure you try to protect yourself. It's a pain to deal with these things, but they do happen. And we know, we know these things happen. So always make sure you're protected. If you're going to buy from someone, make sure uh, they have you know good feedback or rep, make sure that uh, the, everything checks out. If it's say it's in eBay, the listing, Instagram, make sure the listing looks good and there's nothing fishy. Make sure there's no red flags. And um, even then you never know, but make sure you keep your, get your evidence, send with protection. And uh, that's the best you can do to protect yourself. And hope, and mostly in the situations you do, uh, hopefully then get whatever is rightfully owed to you, whether it's the product that you ordered or the money back to you. Um, but yeah, kind of my thoughts. So this actually, unless I'm forgetting something, the first time this has happened to me in cards and I didn't really know what to say. I was just kind of taken aback. I was like, oh, because I've, yeah, unless I'm missing something, I don't think that's ever happened to me. So um, it was a fishy situation from the start. That's always a red flag in those situations. Make sure you have, you know, all your evidence gathered. And once you then get to this point, you can file, uh, you know, some sort of uh, report or open a ticket with them. And that's exactly what I did. I was able to get my money back and I believe it's all good as of now. I'm, um, I don't, I haven't heard anything in a little bit. And you now since they did get my money back and they said it closed. So I think that's it. This is the first time I ever had to deal with that. So should be good. And I hope that you guys can also make sure that you do the same thing for yourself. So if you have any you know, questions, feel free to, of course, you know, chat down below in the comments. If you have any, uh, I guess, experiences and other, I guess, recommendations or suggestions for any of us, feel free to comment those down below because I'm sure I didn't cover everything uh, to best protect yourself as a buyer and, um, you know, to find the right listings. Because I know a lot of times there's distrust or, uh, I guess, uncertainty when you're buying something. If we help each other out, always, always good to do. So yeah, comment down below if you have any other recommendations. I would, once again, protection. Look for those red flags, and um, you know, save your, save all your evidence, stuff like that, and then make sure that you do, uh, you can, you know, I guess, uh, fight it, right? So, always do those things. Protect yourself. Make sure that these things don't happen, and uh, try our best to to put a stop to these things. And uh, that does it for this this video. Just kind of wanted to little ramble on my thoughts, my experiences, and what we can do. I know a lot of you guys have not dealt with these things before, and if I didn't previously, uh, I guess, deal with shoes, I wouldn't, this would be my first time dealing with anything like this. So I wouldn't be uh, too experienced myself. But I have dealt with these things before and those are kind of my tips for you guys. So that's for this one. A long uh, 
another video of lots of talking. Also lots of cards though. Fun to get the shack. I, I love shacks. And I can't get these. There we go. Got this BI and uh, my Grizz guys. All this, I'm going to kind of close it off like this. Wait, hold on. Bane's coming in here too. There we go. Fun stuff. Once again, all these awesome stuff. And while we do have negatives in like this case, it's important to at least in some cases highlight these and show you guys kind of my thoughts and how we can go about protecting ourselves the best. But to go back on a more positive note, we got some awesome cards here. Always appreciative. Everyone who sent stuff in, made deals with me. I always, always, always want to say thank you. And uh, once again, thank you guys for 90K subs. A lot of stuff coming soon. Uh, once again, if you have any big trades you want to make, I've been trying to maybe make some uh, big moves, but um, definitely hit me up. And also regarding a big, you know, future giveaway as well as maybe uh, some of you guys were suggesting a big break or a big box I'd rip for 100K subs. If you have some recommendations, something you want to see, let me know down below. Maybe we can throw into consideration, but that's for this video, guys. Fun stuff. Cards are fun. And uh, let's keep it that way. Have a great time. Close off on these awesome stuff. Stay tuned for tons of more content. We should have, I want to say Don Rust, but as of now, I have no, I don't know how I'm getting a box. But uh, we'll try to do Don Rust as well as I think plates and patches and um, one other football product is next week. So tons of stuff coming. Definitely stay tuned. That's for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.